Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a fun little treat box for you today. It's in the shape of a cloud and it says brighter skies are on their way. This is a uh, bundle from the 2024 Stampin' Up! Spring Mini Catalog. Um, I really love this bundle. Uh, if you're looking for more ideas, I actually will have six projects in total over my blog as I feature it this week. Um, there's coordinating designer series paper also in the celebration catalog that you can get for free. We're not using it on this project, but I just wanted you to know that it's there. So inside my box, I found these great rainbow gummies. Aren't they the cutest? I know my kids love gummies. So I just thought that was really cute to go inside of the box that says brighter skies are on their way. All right. So let's make our box first. We're going to do the box bottom and the box top. The first thing let's do is our box bottom, okay? And you're going to need a piece of thick basic white that measures five and a fourth by six and a half. And we're going to uh, score it at one and three fourths on all four sides. It's a pretty small box. You can see that's the size of the footprint of our box. I needed it to fit inside of our cloud. All right, the next piece that you need is five by three and three fourths. This is gonna be our lid and we're gonna score it the same way we did with the lid, but we're gonna add a shim to our Simply Score. This only works when you're measuring, when you're scoring um, the same on all four sides. This is gonna create the footprint of our box being um, almost exactly the same, but it's gonna create just a sliver of difference, making it a little bit wider so it'll slide down on your box bottom easier. This is about seven or eight post-it notes, and I'm gonna stick it to the side. I think mine have lost their stickiness, so I may have to hold them there. Um, and I'm gonna score this at one inch on all four sides, leaving that, <laughs> leaving that gem, it needs to stay in place each time I go around. Looks like maybe I just need to get a new stack. So one inch on all four sides. There we go. All right, so you've scored your bottom and your top and we're gonna get um, liquid glue is what I choose to use. I'm gonna use my um, bone folder to burnish these lines real well. And I'm gonna take my paper snips and I'm gonna cut the score lines on the short sides like this. I'm also going to cut off the outside corners of each of those, so it looks like that. I'm gonna repeat it and do the same thing on this one, snip and snip. All right, now you can use tear and tape um, Stamp and Seal Plus if you'd like, or whatever you find holds your boxes the best. Here in South Texas where I live, it's very humid, so I find that liquid glue seems to hold the best. All right, so I've put glue on the outside of those little tabs, and I'm gonna hold it closed with some clothespins while it dries. Okay, add some glue to those, and same thing. Fold them in, making sure they're matched up on the sides, and squeeze that down, okay? Now the lit, the bottom, excuse me, the bottom of our box is gonna be done in exactly the same way. Burnish all those lines. Cut your score lines on the short sides. Cut off the outside corners. And then repeat on the other side. There we go. Okay, same deal. Liquid glue. Fold it in and fold it in. And I just need one clothespin, I think, this time. And this one, we'll put a little bit of glue there, a little bit of glue there. 
fold them in and fold the side up. All right. And that's how you make the box. Now let's make that cute cloud on the top. We're going to cut two of the largest clouds out from the die set. So you're gonna want this one. We need to create a little uh, grass. So I'm gonna take this die first and I'm gonna run it through my cut and emboss machine. And this is how you get it so that it has the stitching on it when you cut out your cloud. Down there at the bottom, you see that? You don't want it to be too thick because <clears throat> we need to leave enough room here for all of this. So now I'm gonna take a piece of basic white and some stamp and seal. And I'm gonna put that just right across like that. Now, I'm gonna lay my cloud die down like that and cut it out, okay? So let's bring this over. And you just want that grass down along the bottom. And there you go, okay? Now we need one more of these clouds. We also need two of these little clouds. This is um, pool party cardstock. So let's see, let me get it on this side so you guys can see. We also need to stamp our sun, which we'll do in just a sec. Let's move that. These dies will definitely fit. Okay, come on. These dies will definitely fit if you have the mini cut and emboss machine. You may not be able to cut as many at one time, but it definitely still fits. All right, now here's a little pro tip for you. If your die, if your paper is stuck inside your die, take your pick tool to the rescue, just poke that right out. All right, so we need one more of these, but we also need our sun. So let's stamp the sun. Right in the middle, Daffodil Delight on basic white. And one thing I've been telling everybody about this specific die in the set is that it looks like it's symmetrical, but it doesn't fit exactly right on every little point. You have to keep turning it, turning it, turning it until you see all the triangles fitting in where they're supposed to be. Once you see that, you'll just lock that in. There we go. See how they're all fitting in the little points? So just keep turning it until you see them line up. Oh, you know what? One other thing, one important thing. We need to get the small raindrop die. And let's cut out some raindrops. These cloud dies are really great in this set, but I, I feel like I will use cloud the cloud dies by themselves in lots of other projects, not just with this stamp set. I feel like I always need clouds for butterfly cards, bird cards, hot air balloon cards. There's just lots of ways to use your um, cloud dies. Okay, so let's start with our stamping. I think I'm gonna stamp the sentiment first. Uh, in all honesty, I actually stamped it last when I first made this, which was a mistake. I needed to do it first so that I know exactly where I can put my flowers. So let's line that up. We're going to stamp it in pool party right there on the far right side. Now I've got granny apple green and we'll stamp three, one, two, and can we squeeze another one in there? Three stems, and then Poppy Parade. One, two, 
three. Now there are dies for these. Let's see, can I fix that? There are dies for these images. If you want to stamp and cut them out or just cut them out from colored cardstock, you can also do that. All right, let's see. We're going to need some dimensionals now. I'm going to take my sun and start with it right there. And then I'm going to put the one of the pool party clouds like that. And then let's see, we got to get this one out. And I'm actually going to adhere this one back here like this. All right, so that it's coming out like that. Last but not least, I need my liquid glue. Now look how tiny these raindrops are. You need to only use a teeny tiny dot of glue. And if you have been around me for a while, you know that I am not good at doing teeny tiny dots. I'm really not. So try your best to do teeny tiny dot because these raindrops are just tiny. And you're also gonna want your Take your pick tool with that putty end. Okay, come on. Like that. So much easier to pick them up that way. Okay, you can use the other end to kind of tell it where to go. We'll put one right there. And one right there. Okay, so now we've got our cute little top and our bottom. Let's bring our boxes back. And I think we are definitely ready to go. And I found, I will link these cute little gummy uh, rainbows on my blog post. So make sure you click the link here, go back, you'll find them there in today's post. And they fit in there perfectly. Now the lid goes right on top like that. And there's your little box. Now I'm gonna, first I'm gonna glue this on here. And you wanna make sure that it's not going above any of the, the little clouds, edges, or on, you know, goes outside the edge. So I'm gonna pull it down a little bit so I can put my head over it and see how it looks. Let's see, now can you guys see? It fits perfectly right there, okay? And now, I'm gonna do the same thing up here. I'm gonna kind of eyeball it so that they're pretty much the same. All right, now you're gonna to wanna to give that some time to dry, but we don't have time. I've gotta show you the next part. Let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna use something that is from Celebration. It's a free choice that you can use. If I can find it, where did I put it? Here it is. This is something you can choose for free in January and February when you spend $50. It's our pool party, let's see, crinkle ribbon, five eighths of an inch. And it is in our celebration catalog. Um, if you've already gotten the paper that goes with this bundle, you may want to get the ribbon. Pool party goes with so many other things. All right, so we're gonna just wrap this around the top part, the top box. Don't be like me, let yours dry completely. But I've gotta finish this on the video, so I gotta show you how to do it. All right, tie this cute ribbon. Okay, come on. Well, let's see if I can get it. Around the top of your box. And do I have my good scissors right here? Snip. And there you go, there's your box. How stinking cute is that? Now, if you wanted to change the sentiment, you totally could. This would make a great um, spring, maybe a wedding shower, baby shower, party favor, or just, you know, during the winter blues, giving it to a friend, reminding them that spring is on the way. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog. There's a free PDF of the measurements and supply list and two other Bright Sky projects. Have fun stamping everybody, thanks, bye-bye.